What's up YouTube? Welcome to .NET Mob. In this video, I will show you how to bind or display data based tables in ASP.NET Git Views. We have already uploaded videos related to this topic. You can find the link in video description. Before starting this video tutorial, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video. And for more awesome videos like this, please be subscribed to this channel .NET Mob. Without further ado, let's get started. This is my Visual Studio 2013. Inside this, we have to create a new project. For that, you can click on this new project here or go to File, then New, then Project, or you can use the shortcut Ctrl Shift N. Click on that. Select Web under Visual C Sharp, then select Visual Studio 2012, then select ASP.NET Empty Web Application. Then name your project here. I will name it as Bind Grid View. Then select the location where you want to save this application, then click on OK. So here we have a brand new ASP.NET web application. This is my management studio. Here we have a database phonebook db. Inside that we have a table phonebook. Now we have to show these rows from this table inside a data grid view in this application. For that right click on this application, then add web form. I will name this form as index then click on ok first of all let me switch to code behind for that right click then view code first of all I am going to declare a string variable to store connection string connection string at the right symbol then two quotes inside this course we have to pass connection string for this database phone book db let me copy connection string for this database here. Now we have to import the namespace using system.data.sql client. Inside the page load event, we will start with using statement as a resource. We have SQL connection object, SQL connection as SQL core equals new SQL connection. Inside that, we have to pass the connection string. We will open the connection here sqlcon.open. Now, I am going to declare SQL data adapter as sqlda equals new sql data adapter. Now, we have to pass the query here select star from phone book. The second parameter we have to pass the connection object here. Now let me declare an object of data table. Data table for that we have to use the namespace system.data as dtbl equals new data table. Now we will call the function sqlda.fill and we will fill the result inside this data table here. Now we will use this data table in order to bind the ASP.NET grid view. Now let me design the grid view. For that switch to design here. Then we can start with ASP grid view. ID will be GV phone book. Inside that we have to add column stack. Now we need to add these four or five. Yes, five columns to be added. For that, we can start with ASP bound field. Data field will be this column name here. First name. Let me copy this and paste in here. Then header text. Header text will be first space name that's it like this we have to add four more columns for that let me copy this and pasting below that four times after first name we have last name then we have contact contact email email and address 
corresponding header text will be address and that of email will be email contact last name now switch to design mode here here you can see some extra columns at the end now we want to avoid that columns for that you can set auto generate columns equals false that's it now we need to bind this c -sharp data table into this grid view gv font book for that you can do this gv font book dot data source equals dtbl now we need to call the function bind data bind that's it let me run this application for that click on the start button here now you can see the result in data grid view here finally i want to add an extra column to show a select link button for that you can edit this design here i'm going to start with asp template field asp template field inside that item template inside that we have asp link button asp link button id will be lnk select text will be select run at server now we want to set the command argument command argument and we have to set the command argument as the phone book id column for that you can do this pound symbol then eval inside that we have to pass the column name phone book id switch to design mode here so here you can see the select link button now if you want to do something when user click on this link button you can add a click event here for that you can add this on click event here equal to now click on this create new event here now copy this event name from here now let me stop this execution here now i'm going to create a new event here protected void then event name then we have object sender then event args as e now inside this event we can retrieve this selected row phone book id when you so click on this specific row we can get the corresponding row phone book id for that you can do this in phone book id equals convert to in 32 inside that i have to convert this sender as link button link button and we will retrieve the corresponding command argument command argument so with this with this line you can store selected row phone book id inside this variable now let me put a breakpoint here now run this application again click on this select button now if you hover on this variable here you can see the corresponding selected draw phone book id for here that's it guys if you found this video helpful please be subscribe to this channel dot net more you can download this project source code and db script from the link given below in video description please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye